Hi, first grade, and welcome to Kitchen Math. Okay, so today we're going to work on our math book pages. And the last few days we've been working on how to read a bar graph. And today you're going to work on how to make a bar graph. So we're going to open our books to page 593. I have the pages, so I'm going to work with you on each page. But sometimes I might be moving on and you might say, oh, I'm not done with my graph yet. And that's okay. If you're not done, just tap and pause the video. And then when you're ready to do the next problem, <clears throat> you can click again. We'll do each page on each slide. So you'll see the next page on the next slide with me. Okay. So let's look at our graph. And it says making bar graphs. Our essential question says, how does a bar graph help you co compare information? So when we're doing our activity today, we're going to be noticing that we're going to want to compare things and look at what has more or what has less. So for our graph today, it says color one box for each food item to complete the graph. So let's read the problem. Dan keeps track of the food he sells at the soccer game. He sells all of the food on the table. Make a bar graph to show the food that Dan sells. So what you are going to do today is you're going to make your own bar graph. So I'm going to do a couple with you and show you how I like to make my bar graphs that might make it easier for you. Now, if you do it differently at home, is that okay? Absolutely. You can do it however you want, but you want to make sure you're being careful and you don't skip any food on the table. So when I do it, I like to cross out the food so that I know I already counted it. So on this far left, I see a hot dog and I'm going to put a nice X through it. And then on my graph, I'm going to find hot dog and I'm going to color that in on my graph. Now I'm using black. If you want to use a different color, you can absolutely use any colors you want. I would say for each bar, make each bar the same color. Now, the three bars could be different, but make each long row the same color so that we can see them all in that line, okay? Now, I did hot dog, and then I see a piece of pizza down here, so I'm gonna X that out too so that I know. And then I'm gonna find hot dog, or pizza right up here, and I'm going to color that in, okay? Now I'm going to do one more, and then you guys are going to finish the graph on your own. I'm going to find this taco up here. So the taco is that yellow one. And then I'm going to color in that bar here. So now I've colored in one of each. And if I drew my line down, I'd see that one of each has been colored in. But I know there's a lot more on there. So on your own, I want you to finish doing the bar graph, okay? I want you to think about how you know that you counted each thing. So that's our question down here. How do you know you colored them? If you didn't X them out, think about how you double checked to make sure that you got all of those done. Okay, go ahead and make your bar graph, friends.